What you're looking at here is a partial skull, a skull that's gone unidentified until now. And she was identified as Wanda Ann Her, and she was born in 1957. More on Wanda in a moment. First, you need to know the skull was found in 1986 near government camp by two Forest Service workers. As you might imagine, the medical examiner performed an autopsy. They thought the skull was about 10 years old. And they thought that the skull belonged to a young woman in her 20s or a, a young or small male. Since there was no DNA analysis at the time, the case went cold. But years later, Oregon's forensic anthropologists entered the picture. It was an honor to work on the case, really. In 2008, Dr. Nikki Vance re-examined the skull and collected some DNA. She determined the skull belonged to a female in her late teens or early 20s, but the work was far from over. If you don't have a first and last name to give to someone, it's it's almost impossible to to really uh, go far enough in the case to even solve it. Fast forward to 2019. The skull is identified through DNA phenotyping, which predicts the physical appearance and ancestry of an unknown person from their DNA, and genetic genealogy, which helps identify an unknown person by looking for relatives in databases and building family trees. Because we want to resolve these cases, we would like to give people back the respect of having a first and last name. In this case, Wanda Her. This dark-haired, dark-eyed girl is Wanda at the age of 12. There's somebody that knew her in the 70s can tell me where she was, who she, hang at, who she hung out with back then. That would be helpful. Wanda would have been 19 at the time. What happened to her and why is a mystery that cold case detectives want to get to the bottom of. Investigators would certainly appreciate that help. So too would Wanda's family. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.